Hello everybody, Dikhomir here with the JPM team uh, bringing you another demo for uh, JPM business applications. Um, I wanted to show off uh, this demo source code as well as uh, the source for all the other demos we've done so far as well as uh, the tutorials for each of the chapters in the documentation are here in on GitHub and you can come here clone uh, whatever you like and and run it locally yourself um, in this demo we I wanted to showcase how you can uh, dynamically show data from your business process on your UI um, without a page refresh um, so something that is user triggered like for example um, in this case with, with this WebSocket terminal application the users will enter in a command uh, similar to what we, you would do in a normal terminal, either on Unix on a DOS system. Um, and uh, the business process is going to evaluate this command and the results are going to be displayed um, on your page dynamically. So there is not going to require any clicks, any refreshes or any, anything like that. Um, so just to show off, uh, again, we build this application from start.jpm.org. We build the default app. Um, you can also configure it as you wish. And we have enhanced it, and I will show you all the enhan enhancements we have done to the uh, default JPM business application to get here. Um, I wanted to just show you off before we look at the app the business process that is running um, for this. Um, this is, again, a simple business process where the user enters in a command in our terminal. This command gets evaluated by rules, um, business rules. Um, these rules just look at a command and say, is it a dangerous command or business terminal? We don't want people to be able to uh, delete our file system, create files, delete files, things that you can prevent you know, some damage from being done. Um, and if the rules evaluate that this is a dangerous command, um, we just go through um, setting the return of our of um, the results of the command to say, hey, you know, this we cannot execute this. There is two other options. One is it is a normal command. For example, we can do list of directories or you know different types of command that you can execute in a terminal in this case we use a work item the jpm exec work item which just can execute this command and give us the result the results in our terminal but to just enhance it we also added um, another um, possibility for our terminal is to receive weather information and for this we do have an open um, current weather um, work item also available uh, that you can download from our um, many JPM work items currently available and if the command for example starts with show temp or temperature for city comma country um, this command is going to go through this tree where um, we actually will fetch the current weather information and uh, display it on the terminal as the app so I have um, went ahead and started it, the app before we look start looking at the source code. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. All right, so this is basically the UI of our uh, business application, our terminal. If you can see, it kind of simulates the look and feel feel uh, of a terminal. And here you can, for example, do uh, since I'm running on a Unix environment. Um, I just wanted to see my current directory, and this is what it is. If you're running this application on DOS, you would uh, run the DOS command, so uh, whatever your operating system is where you're running this demo. <clears throat> Those are the type of commands um, that you will be running. Um, so if I try to do something like this, uh, as you can see from our rules, this was evaluated uh, as a dangerous command so you can really enhance this to do as whatever you wish uh, for now we have a set list of commands um, or commands that start with a certain pattern 
which are then the rules evaluated as being dangerous. Now you can also, as we show, um, as we've seen in the business process, um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, get weather. So you can have a command show temp for let's say Atlanta, United States, and this will go through this part of the business process and fetch the current weather information using our uh, weather work item and display it in Celsius currently. Um, the commands are very powerful here. Um, you can also, we can also do, for example, open, since I'm running on, on uh, OS X, I can do, for example, um, open up a text editor, text edit with my terminal. Um, I can also, let's see, what files do we have here? I can open, for example, say open-a uh, Firefox, and I want to open up, let's say, the palm.xml. And this will open up my palm XML in my current directory, as you can see um, in Firefox. So this... Uh, JPM exec work item is, is very powerful actually you can you can run it a lot of different commands um, and uh, execute those commands on the, your underlying uh, OS so that gives you a lot of power that in your business process without it that you, you really cannot do um, <clears throat> so let's take a look now what we did um, in our code all right, so the first thing I want to show you is our Palm XML. Um, one of the important things uh, I wanted to show you is that we use WebSockets. And WebSockets are really nice for this because both our UI can sub subscribe uh, to a particular topic um, that we create. And uh, as our backend is pushing that onto the topic, our UI can receive it and dynamically update our DOM. And for this, we added the Spring Boot Starter WebSocket. And, it, and this is really the only dependency that kind of here is important. Um, and if we wanted to see our WebSocket config, um, this is very simple. Again, we create one endpoint, which is slash terminal demo WebSocket. And this is the WebSocket, uh, the, the, the endpoint that really our UI is going to connect to. Um, and um, receive messages. And once the messages are received, uh, we can do whatever we want to update. And in this case, update uh, the DOM to show the results of our, of our command execution. In our application controller, um, we have um, a, sing a get mapping. So this is basically just a typical get mapping where we map a slash to terminal.html and this is in our here terminal.html and we will look at that in a minute. Um, now I want to also show you how easy it is to work with processes. So far we've looked only at for example uh, using the um, Kia server timely timely dialect which hides a lot of this stuff for you but uh, when using JPM business applications you can simply auto-wire uh, your process service, your runtime service. There's a list of other services you can also auto-wire and go through the docs, go to the demos um, on GitHub that I've shown you, and you will learn pretty much all of this stuff. But basically, I will use the process, we will use the process service here to start our business process, and the runtime data service um, is used here to get our business process results of our um, process variable once the process is completed in order to display those results um, onto our terminal. So we have a message mapping to slash terminal message. This is where uh, the posts, any, 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 anything requesting um, to this particular um, topic this method will be executed and all this method does is starts the terminal business process and it passes in the message or the message being what we type in here so if I type in ls.ltr or 
who am I or anything this is particular message is going to be this message in this method once we have it we prepare the business uh, process inputs so the business process is a, a process where you call C message <coughs> and uh, and a command which is a, a, a new type of a command decision object these are simple um, objects that we define in our WebSocket terminal model so command decision is basically just uh, a, a class which um, determines the dangerous commands and also uh, then figures out is it a weather command or is it a dangerous command or else is it just a normal command that we want to execute so that's kind of simple poacher type of stuff um, where am I oh, okay uh, once we have set up the inputs for business process we're going to call the process service dot start process passing in um, the name to uh, our container that is already wired for you when you when you generate the the business application um, the process ID which uh, is the ID in the BPMN2 of your business process so that again we can take a look in the KJAR so source main resources here is our terminal process BPMN2 and here we have BPMN2 process ID is terminal process and this is the process ID um, that we want to uh, pass here in order to start this particular process and also we pass in the process input. Um, once we start the process um, there is no wait state in this particular process so we'll just run straight through and once we have that we can uh, go ahead and use the data service to get the latest um, value of our C output process variable which then res uh, contains the results of our of our command so that's pretty much it uh, now let's take a look at the UI side of things um, we use here the SOC.js library the stomp library these are the kind of standard libraries to use when using WebSockets uh, for the UI especially if you're using jQuery um, you can just get them here or, or, or from web jars for example or you know whatever you find them you can even get them from here there was no changes done to those um, I do want to show you um, one second JS All right. let's take a look now at the terminal JS file and here there is only a couple uh, two methods that we really want to look at. The first one is the function called connect and this is the function whether you, if you're using WebSockets and of course not doing this terminal app this is kind of the function that you're going to uh, need. This function uses SockJS to listen to slash terminal demo WebSocket which is the, 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 the endpoint that we created in our web application and starts listening to it and just logs a I've connected to it once um, a message is sent to slash topic slash terminal um, this is once our business process um, completes if you see here we are sending the results to slash topic slash terminal uh, this will get then get picked up by our UI or this JavaScript and once we get the value, we're going to call a method called show, show terminal response, which basically says append the DOM um, to, and here it is. We just say output, which is uh, our DOM current DOM element where the command was entered, and we just insert dynamically um, a paragraph with the result of uh, the value of the the value we received from the business process, uh, the process variable. So that's pretty much how that works. Everything else in here in this JS files is specific to the terminal, how it looks and feels. Uh, for example, empty commands are not going to trigger a business process. You also have some 
commands, for example, like clear to simulate the terminal, things like that that will clear um, the screen as you would expect, for example, stuff like that. Um, again, um, you can, for example, do things like Java version. Uh, yeah, here we go, sorry. Typo. Um, you can do MVN version. You can really execute any type of command that you want. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, again, put it below in the comments. Um, if you want to see any particular demos using any type of technologies or or if you have ideas of uh, what kind of stuff you want us to, to uh, do for the next demo, please, again, leave comments um, or um, tell us on IRC or... or, or um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, Google... Uh, Google groups and stuff like that. And again, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, have fun uh, building your JPM business apps. Thanks.